Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I just got the surprise of my life. I opened up my email this afternoon. And I got an email from YouTube saying my channel has been reinstated that they decided I did not break community guidelines. What's up with that? Okay, so I get on YouTube and I'm put in Genie Hardesty, you know, without the 2.0. And first it just takes me to, like, what you're offered. There I am, Hardesty 2.0, several of recent videos, then the one from the years ago, someone was cursing me. And then my channel was offered that had gotten taken down. Several things below the name Genie Hardesty 2.0. And it's all here that I can tell. I mean, I don't know if they took some things out and left them out. I probably did. Maybe they figured I learned my lesson. You know, when you're called to tell the truth, you're called to tell the truth to the best of your ability. I tell the truth to the best of my ability. So now I'm going to try to put up the same video on both if I make any more videos. I want to. I, I want to bring you updates, recalls. I feel like there's not anybody else doing that. When Tessa sends me some that I feel like, you know, that's pretty important. I'm a little washed out down here from the sun, but anyway. Um, yeah, I played around in the camera things a little bit, so it looks like I have a little makeup on here. But it's a, it's a trick, you know. It's a, a thing you'd use inside the camera to cre increase contrast, decrease brightness, so forth, but still a little bright down here because of the sun but anyway that's a better look isn't it at least I don't look like I'm <laughs> so so pale faced because I don't wear makeup anymore you know God called me away from that a long time ago not that I'm saying you can't wear it maybe it was just because it became a hassle to me it made me feel hot and, and it was like so why make yourself feel, wor wear, feel worse kind of thing you know so I'm not telling you but people have had dreams where they went to hell. Or maybe they died and went to hell. And then they came back. They said the Lord got on to them. But these were women who were preaching in a pulpit. Had titles. Caked with makeup. Long nails. False eyelashes. The fancy hairdos. Lots of jewelry. Big bling. And they were told to stop. That that was displeasing God. But if you're just putting on a little foundation and blush and a little something to keep you from looking too pale and sickly, don't worry about it. Just be humble. Dress not like you're trying to attract a man. You got my drift. We need to keep ourselves, as, and I'm saying that with a top that's a size too big. So it's sort of fallen off of me, but um, yeah, everything's backwards. So now I have to just, just do that. It's just too big, and I kept it anyway because it's just a light cotton blouse, and I, I, I kind of like it. But normally, you know, I'm just wearing a t-shirt, and it's it covers me up pretty well like this. Whatever. <laughs> oh, anyway, I just wanted to let y'all know. There I am rambling again. I'm just a little old me. I'm just, I'm an open book. I tell y'all everything. And I wish I could know as much about you as you get to know about me. But pretty soon, those who are found worthy to escape all of these things that are to come to pass, those of us who are found worthy will find ourselves standing in front of the Son of Man as part of His bride. Be ready. Stay in repentance. Live holy. Keep looking up. Because every day that passes brings us that much closer to being with Him. Okay? Alright. Goodbye, brothers and sisters in Christ. Just wanted to let you know my old channel's back up. In case there were any old videos you wanted to ever check out. And I may pull some of these 
messages I did that I got back in 2013 and 2014 that I know were from the Lord, like the the multiple raptures and the ones about the pets going to heaven and some of those and put them up on my second channel. All right. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.